Brad Miller with FlyBass.com and FlyBass.biz. We've been doing a lot of uh, smallmouth fishing this summer, and I think I finally decided the most critical aspect of fly line selection and a well-balanced rod and reel outfit is your ability to be able to pick up line and do one one back cast and then shoot that line back out. If you have to do a lot of false casting, probably something's out of whack. Either you're not shooting line correctly, um, the line and the rod balance isn't correct or something, but you should be able to just pick that line up and shoot it. Um, what I'm going to show you today here are two different kinds of lines that we've been using this summer quite a bit. The first one is called the uh, Portland Tropic Plus Redfish. They've got a species specific line of fly line. This one um, is actually a, uh, it's not a floating fly line. It'll, it's actually a, a real slow sinking line so you can use it in salt water. You can use it for streamers and it works just great for poppers as well. Uh, but what I'm talking about is, is, I'll demonstrate here, when you pick your line up, you want to be able to shoot out 30, 40, 50 feet of line every time without having to false cast. So I'm going to get this line rolling a little bit here. Okay, I'm going to use one false cast and I'm going to strip that line and shoot it all out. Let me show you one more time. Um, the, head, the head part, the thick part of the fly line here, um, is relatively condensed and it's fairly heavy so it allows you to pick that line up and shoot it back out very easily. And it's so important in a day of fishing, uh, the more the more bullet casts you can make in there with the less amount of fly, uh, the, the, mess, the less amount of false casting, uh, the more fish you're going to catch. Now the other line that we've been using a lot lately is called the um, Portland Precision Bass Line. And you know, Portland's got several different kinds of lines for trout, bass, pike, and salt water, and so forth these days. But uh, besides this redfish, a lot of the smallmouth fishermen around the country are using this redfish for smallmouth. Um, I've been uh, experimenting with both of them. And these are both eight weight outfits, by the way. And I've, I've got a, uh, I just got a popper on here. I'm going to strip some line out. What's cool about this precision, this bass precision, is that the, the head, that the thick part of the taper of the line is a slightly different color than the running line. So when you're stripping your line out and you want to know when the head's out there so you can start throwing it, uh, it's easy to tell because it's different color. You know, in the past, a lot of guys had put a mark on the line so they'd know when it was out. But I'm going to strip out. Uh, I'm going to strip out some line here, and again, we're going to take it back. We're going to shoot it all out. And this is something that you all got to practice to do if you're not doing it. One false cast and out. And I just shot out about 40 feet of line. So I'm going to bring this up. Try not to stand on it. I'm going to take it back and shoot all that line out. And that was about a 50. About a 50 footer there. Um, I'll take a little bit more in and show you one more time. When you're stripping your flies in, whether you're in a boat or a lake, you want to be able to just pick that up, probably do a single haul like that forward, nice tight loop, and you're going to catch a lot more fish in the course of a day because you're going to get a lot more casts in you know, just the right spot. Hey, Brad Miller with flybass.com and flybass.biz. Um, check out these lines uh, and uh, they're going to serve you very well. They're the best lines I've seen so far for catching big smallmouth anywhere in the Midwest. See you later.